Hey guys, Simon and James, and we are here for a brand new map. Oh my god. Hello, Anna. I'm back, Simon. Oh, and your link skin. Loving it, loving it. Right, so we are here for a brand new adventure map. Um, it looks like a pretty epic one, I'm not going to lie. From uh, from all the pictures, it looked pretty great. So this is called The Fall of Gondolin. Um, now this is kind of, I've heard it's uh, basically themed around the Lord of the Rings kind of Middle Earth saga. Got a bit of the, the history and the storyline from that. Um, don't know uh, how that's going to work out. Um, I don't know. I'm not an avid reader of Tolkien works, but sounds interesting to me. Now, the first thing that we always do uh, before we start a map is obviously look at where we got the map from. So for anyone that is interested, you can go over to the Minecraft forum. And all the links that I'm showing here will be in the description. Uh, this is just the page at which um, on the forum it sort of shows you the map. Um, all looks very good there. Um, that will link you to this website where you can actually download the map. Don't worry, it's all safe. No worries about that. Um, now, one thing it did does have on there is a little bit of lore, which is like a backstory, which you can read. Um, we've read it through, and it just talks about sort of the whole sort of concept of what's going on and uh, who you are. And then there's this little story here, which I might as well read out for you. So um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name, but I think it says your name is Alcarian, son of Ista something or other, I don't even know. An elf who hails from the hidden city of Gondolin. It's been many months since you've left your home in search of news from the Far Realms and rumours of Morgoth's movements. And I believe Morgoth is some, basically an evil dude, sounds like it, doesn't it? I'm not it does sound lie. like an evil man. Yeah. So it says, now finally you are home and ready to report to Turgon, who is our king. Uh, it says, what you have learned. Oh God, who's dying? Is that you? Or is yeah, that me? bad news. I uh, managed to jump in the fire. Oh, good, good effort. Good effort. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, it says, but there is doom in the air. A doom that Tua long warned against. I don't know who Tua is, or Tua, or I don't know how to pronounce that. And one which Turgon and the people have chosen to ignore. Treachery is afoot. Evil is coming. And the fall of Gondolin is becoming fast... A fast approaching reality. So that is the premise of the fall of Gondolin. We will save you, Gondolin. It sounds good to me. Right. So all the of those... Cookie Monster and Link have united, and we will save Gondolin. Yep. Pretty much. Um, we're gonna do it. Right. So we are. Simon. Clean... Simon. Read note one. Read note one. Where are we? We're in a. Ooh. We have a building out there. I don't really want to go outside like too much. Looks it's like we're in a cave. We're in a cave on a mountainside. Um, we have a bed. With some uh, funky looking torches. We've got uh, that. There's like a custom texture pack for this map, so things look like a little bit different. Oh, what? You can't. Did you just take everything? Go on, at least split. Yeah. Oh, you got a sword. What? Hang Scammer. On. There you go. You can have. You can have this. Actually, you can have. No, give me the arrows back. Right. You can have the sword. I can have the sword. What? Have you got a bow? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. We've got some. Uh, you have a bow. I've got a sword. That sounds pretty good to me. You can be the elf then if you're a bow, a bow master. Right, read note yes. one. So, with this map, there are um, various few notes that we have. Oh, what about the diary page? The that... diary. No. no, the diary That's... page. I assume is something we'll encounter. So, with this map, there's bundled a, a bunch of notes that I'm sure we'll encounter, uh, giving some storyline yeah. as to what's going on. No, James, do you want to read out this note? I think it's similar to the story that I read out. Uh, I, I, I fear my pr pronunciation of some of these words. All right. For example, okay, read note one. Your name is Alcarine. Alcarain? Alcarian? Alcarian? Alcarain. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And then the next That's name. That's our name. Okay. Son of Istolthor. <laughs> nice. Okay, That's better so, than I did. <laughs> an elf that hails from the hidden city of Gold Gondolin. Gondolin, yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we've decided on. So... These these pronunciations are going to be sketchy from us, but just bear with us, bear with us, right? It has been many months since King Torgon sent me sent you forth from the city to gather news from the far realms and seek rumours of the Dark Lord's Dark Lord Morgoth's Morgoth Morgoth schemes. Yeah, so basically okay. that that so far that's just the same as the story that I read out. But um, there was a couple of uh, different things giving us a bit of okay. useful tips and info. You have tr you have travelled far. And are finally nearing the foot of the mountains that surrounded your secret homes. This is our secret home, son. We're in our no, secret no. home. No, we, we're in the, the foot of the mountains. The mountains surround the city of Gondolin. And we've got to find our way through the, the hidden sort of mountain pass or something. It sounds pretty pretty epic. It sounds like a massive okay. place. After gathering up what supplies you have left, you look outside and see the familiar dry riverbed that leads northwards towards her hidden way. 
through the mountains. The hidden way. I Exit think... the cave to the right and follow the dry riverbed. Ooh. Set your difficulty to easy or above. Oh, right. So we'll, we're definitely on easy or above. Going to be getting poonzored by some, some mobs right now. Ooh. Obviously, it said to the right. I'm kind of interested to go left. Now, with... Uh, as with a lot of adventure maps, there are some hidden goodies. I believe there are 25 diamonds in this map, and we will aim to find them all. Where are you going? It said exit to the right, but I can't find a, a clear way down. Right, I'm I'm heading down further now. Oh. A tree. Okay, so I did see the riverbed. Um, that was pretty obvious, so let's uh, let's just head over there now. Oh. Right, here's the riverbed. Oh, a chicken. I'm going for it. Kill it, because we need the food. Yeah, oh, and it's laid an egg. Oh, it's laid an egg. You know how we like the eggs. Come on. Here we go. <gasps> no. I thought we liked the melons. Right, so... Oh, I got some XP from that. So in this map, there are, of course, certain rules, as there are with uh, most maps, to be honest. Um, so there are a couple... Um, and, but mainly, it's just stuff like don't break blocks. Oh crap! It said that we could we could break beds to use as checkpoints. Hopefully, we'll find another couple. We could have taken that secret one with chest us. number two. Number oh, it gives a number. Oh, hold on. Yes, I mean we've missed number one. Oh god. Okay, well we're going back. We're going back. I uh, had a diamond. Would you like to collect the diamond? I could throw me a diamond. What do they look like on this texture pack? I'm keen to know. <gasps> Oh, they're pretty similar. Pretty similar. Right. And what we can do is, because we're allowed to uh, take up, like, break uh, bed blocks and stuff, or the... Is it a block or is it a double block? Because it's kind of two things. But we can use beds as checkpoints. I'm looking for a chest. I like the way it actually gives you the number. Or is it a troll? If we encounter number one in a second. Who knows? Oh, there's a little ditch here. Oh, it's only a small ditch. Hmm... I'm guessing we did, it was probably like quite an obvious one for number one, or you'd think at least. It's a good spot though in the water. I don't know how you ninja that. Oh. I don't yeah, know. That was just my legs. I can't even, I don't even know where you are. I'm trying to head up the uh, the side of the mountain again, but I, it's quite, it's not the easiest thing to uh, to scale up. Here we go. In a second I can eat my bread. I think I'm, I think I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. <gasps> yes. Winner. Winner, winner. Right. I'm going to break this bed because we can take that with us. Aha. Now we have a checkpoint. But we can't take torches. The only thing we're allowed to craft is armor and weapons. So, where do you think this hidden chest number one could be? We explore round. Oh, God. Ow, ow. Ow, my legs. Hmm. Very good. I don't know where it could be. Are we just going to have to resign ourselves to the fact that we've missed a chest? Oh god, I've hurt myself even more. I think so. Aww. Okay, well we need to... Let's follow this riverbed then. Or do you reckon it could just be in that big tower? Clearly we're supposed to go up there. It's just too interesting not to go up there. Oh yes, I'm nearly there. Yeah, I can see you scaling. Scaling like a pro. Da -da -da -da, we're climbing up. A anything? Any joy? Surely there's one in this massive structure at the top of the. Uh... <gasps> oh no. Your imagination. Oh, your imagine. Oh god. Oh, I heard a chest there. Yeah, it's just empty there. Secret chest number one. What? It was empty. No, here you go. Oh. 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 Hello. I'm gonna need that pork chop. Actually, I'm getting. Can yeah. Kind of... No, I did as well. <laughs> I'm just going to eat the bread for now. Anyway, oh, so we are running out of hunger pretty fast. Let's uh, let's descend, descend. Okay, so that was where number one was. That's nice to know we haven't missed one yet. Okay, well let's let's head along the riverbed, the dried out riverbed. It looks like it's like this map could be of a pretty epic scale, like not just one of these adventure maps that just kind of has some a small amount of buildings to create a so-called city. This thing looks like it could be huge. Um, judging by some of the pictures I've seen. Ooh! Oh, oh my arrows! I just got two arrows and some bones. Winner. Looks like a skeleton died overnight while we were camping in the cave. Right. Walking along. Right. The sun Walking is going along. down, I'm not going to lie. It is, uh, it's, it's making its way. Down and down. That is not good. Yeah. I'm just thinking as soon as it hits, 
like even the, the you know like that sunset cycle the instantaneous moment at which you can sleep I'm going to try and sleep just in the open ooh oh in you come Simon are we supposed to be in here there's no light I don't want to oh are these <gasps> oh oh hello take that let's keep the diamond count here and I got a piece of bread that's lovely that is lovely. I tell you what, while, even though it's really dark, can I set up the bed and sleep in it? He says you can only sleep at night, but this could be quite a good place. I say it could be quite a good place. There could be mobs here. I do need a place to set up this bed. Because luckily now they've, they've changed it with um, multiplayer, don't they? Now you only need just one person to sleep. It used to be, you have to be the, the whole server simultaneously. It was horrendous. Have you? Where have you gone? Uh, I'm just ninjing around. Ninjing along the riverbed. I'm going to keep it. Up here. I'm fairly sure it's starting to get pretty dark now. I'm behind you, by the way. Oh. Oh. You are severely ninjuring. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to dump the bed there. Oh, yes, it can let me sleep. No! No, dude, quick! Oh, you glitched me. Don't do that. No, we need to sleep. Otherwise, we're going to get absolutely anal pounded oh, at night. What is occupied? Yes. Winner. Oh, you got it. You scammer. You scammer, you! Alright, okay, let's keep following this around. This could take a while, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully. Yeah, you don't miss the hidden chest there. Yeah, well, I don't know, they've been like fairly. I say fairly obvious, kind of. I hope they are like obvious, because it's still nice to find them even if they are obvious. It's just, it'd be they upsetting to miss one. What? I'm stuck. Where have you gone? I found that little hole. Where? I can't even see your name. Have you gone past uh -huh. the, the dark spot with the trees? Hmm. It's quite dark. Ooh, hello. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I found a little hole and I have to dig my way out. What, because you fell into a, <laughs> a, 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 what, a one deep hole or a two deep hole? Yeah, know? no, a two deep hole, yeah. Where's that? That's a bad design. You can't be having two deep holes. Right, I saw a mob spawner. This could be problematic. Where? It's under Underneath the canopy of these trees. Turn around and there's like a cave. It's like, oh dear, look at it. There's a mob spawner. Surely there's a... There's something on the wall. It's like a blood stain. How come it hasn't spawned anything? I don't know. I know we're allowed to break mob spawners, but only... Oh, oh crap. shit! Oh my god! That was bad. Die, die, Quick, die, 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 die. I haven't got a pickaxe. We can only break them with pickaxes. Um, Let's get away from it then. Yeah. Although it's getting really dark. I need to. One. I need to eat up. I'm only on three and a half bars of health. Shit, there's another one there. Oh crap! You blatantly know there's going to be a chest. It hasn't spawned anything unless you're close. So, oh shit! There's a, there's a spider in the trees. No, 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 no! Yes, it's not killing me. I got my sword out this time. Where have you gone? I need I need backup. There's another one. I'm in the canopy. Dude, dude, I'm about to die here. I need backup. Where the hell Get are you at? Get in the canopy. I can't get in the canopy. There's no way up. I got up here. Oh god. Nope. I can't get. I can't make that gap. And run and jump. Nope. I'm getting. I'm getting do dominated, dude. Get the fuck. I don't back know where. You, I don't know where you are. I'm just gonna have to sprint now. I think I'm just above you in the canopy. Oh holy shit! We're out. There you are. Look, I just came down over the canopy. That was horrible. Should have, should have gone over the top. How like was me. there not a hidden chest in all of that? You know there was there. Yeah, we just have to evacuate. If they haven't given us a pickaxe, what can they expect us to do? Unless we've missed a pickaxe. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at this. Ooh! Change difficulty to peaceful. Optional for multiplayer. Now, they, they did say there'd be a point in the map where it's... Because it's supposed to be, like, scenic. So what we could do is we could actually change the difficulty to peaceful for the next episode. We can do that on our server settings. Um, uh, does that sound like a plan? Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. All right, so it's optional for multiplayer. We might as well opt, opt in because we're getting completely demolished with our armour at the minute. Although I'm looking pretty sexy in my, in my normal skin. Looking cool. But, um, yeah, so we will see you guys pretty soon. We'll take on... 
the fall of Gondolin, episode number two, and we'll uh, be on Peaceful and try and see what's in this massive cave. Looks pretty epic to me. Yeah, sounds pretty good. See you next time, guys.